Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I'm going to teach you about how to set paddings using CSS. Guys, firstly, I'll tell you what padding is. Guys, padding defines the space between edges of the element and the element content. Means, firstly, I will tell you. I will create an ID. Uh, name I will give it name of D1 and I will give a border of one pixel solid to it and uh, I give the width of 300 pixels and uh, height of uh, 50 pixels so firstly I'll use it here div ID it's div1 and I close the div tag so I write content goes here. Firstly, I will open it in browser. Now you can see. Firstly, I'll give it a background color also. Background color I'll set it to blue and uh, colors I'll get set the color to white. I'll refresh. Now you can see, guys. Guys, this is the edge of element. These are the edges for it. Four sides or border, whatever you want to say. And this is the content of element means the space which is between this edge and content is padding this space this is more on the bottom this is less on the top the padding is less on the top and padding is there is no padding on the left side because there is no space between edge and content so with CSS we can set the padding firstly just for an example I want to give a left padding I want extra space between left edge and content so I will write padding left I will set it to 10 pixels now you will see it will add extra space to the left side but it will also increase the width also because it has added 10 pixels to width or the width of this box was 300 now it is 310 because we have added 10 pixels extra in the same way we can give it a padding top so I'll write padding top 10 pixels now you can see extra space on the top has been added between this content and this edge so now its height was 50 now it's 500 oh now it's 60 pixels in the same way we can add it to padding all right now you can see it extra 10 pixel space admin guys the main difference between padding and margin is that margin works outside from the div tag or uh, or your element or and then the on the other hand uh, padding works inside the uh, inside the div tag means it add extra space inside this element on the other hand margin will add extra space outside so I will add padding bottom I add it to 10 pixels now you can see 10 pixels at the bottom extra space has been added guys there is one more way to add padding that is padding and 10 pixels I will set it to 5 pixels because we are already set it to 5 now I will give 10 now it will be clear to you if I will refresh oops, it's not working it's 10 pixels so I will refresh and now you can see 10, pux, uh, 10 pixels of space on the every side has been added so if I, I can set in this way also 10 pixels 10 pixels means 10 pixels top right bottom and left mean it works clockwise firstly it will add 10 pixels to top to right to bottom to left and we can set it to in this one more way 10 pixels 10 pixels this 10 pixels is for top and bottom this 10 pixels is for uh, left and right firstly I will tell you this is I have added 10 20 pixels to top and bottom if I refresh it now you can see 10, pux, per, uh, 10 pixels has been added to top and 10 pixels has been added to bottom and if I set it to 20 now this is for left and right if I refresh now you can see 10 pixels has been added to left and 10 pixels has been added to right so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates on our videos so let's see in the next tutorial